Ace Jack seven, Chow flops a set. Nine ten, Trey Greenstein checks his set. It's gonna get very ugly for him. Barry G and Chow G are the legitimate OGs. They are two of the original high stakes players. The word legend gets overused, but these two are the real deal, having played for millions for decades before poker was even on TV. But we managed to get them into a studio to do it for our entertainment. Enjoy watching them in action in the big game. And don't forget to subscribe for more. Even with a hand as big as Queens with three opponents, Chow's still a dog to the field. Four to the flop, which is 9-10. Trey Greenstein checks his set. Chow's a much bigger dog now. This could get very ugly for him. He leads out, betting four grand. By checking, Barry allows Chow to continuation bet. Since it's a continuation bet, there's a bigger chance it's a bluff, and it's more likely to get called. Rick calls with bottom pair. Viffer folds. By checking, Barry gets to build himself a pot without even having to act strong. He raises to 13,000. Well, Chow has to be a little worried about the strength of this check raise. Rick's call may have juiced the pot for Barry, but Rick's presence hurts him a bit here since his check raise wouldn't look as strong in a heads up pot as it does against two opponents. Chow doesn't get away from it. Calls. Uh, there goes the dead money. Chow's dead to a queen or running straight cards. The turn card, eight of diamonds, no immediate help to Chow, but it does give him a straight draw. Barry fires 20 grand. Barry's made a bet, but an eight is the last card he wants to see since Queen Jack is the most obvious draw out there. Even still, Barry's taking advantage of the fact that his hand is going to be good here most of the time. Chow does call. Barry's acting very strong. Chow may have gotten away from this had he not picked up the extra four outs to the gut shot. And of course, when Barry Greenstein's involved, an ace on the river. This is a great card for Barry to like his hand, but not a great one for getting value since it's a scare card for Chow. Barry bets 42,000. Barry's made a value bet for a little more than half the pot. Crazy, how bad are they do this thing? At this point, Chow can't beat most of the hands in Barry's range for the way the action went. Oh, man. Just about 40% of his stack to make this call. 3 9, 3 10. Pocket Queens is nothing but a bluff catcher at this point. Right. Chow three calls, ten. and Barry wins the pot. 3 10, I give it to him. I put a 3 10 and see what call him. Good him. Ah, me. King nine suited for Barry in the small blind. Raises to 5,200. Antonio folds. Chow pocket jacks. It's been a straddle and a double straddle, which is why the pot's so big already. 52. Let's go get him. Chow calls. You gamble, I gamble. Let's go. Good luck, Barry. Barry, this is a lesson in how to go from first to last. Rick calls. In, a, in, an, in the instant of a flop. Nice flat call by Chow with Jax. He's disguising the strength of his hand. He's in position, and he let money bags Raheem in. Ace Jack seven. Chow flops a set. Barry, the first to act, leads out with nine thousand. It's a great flop for Chow. His hand is so strong. He'll want as much action as possible. Chow, smooth calls, and Rick folds. Again, I like Chow's call. If he had raised, it would have shown a lot of strength, especially with Rick still to act behind. Chow and Barry are old friends, play all the time at Bellagio together. Here they are tangling again. Barry hits his king on the turn, but he's drawing dead. Barry may think his king's good since Chow just called the flop. Barry fires another 20,000. Chow's trying to decide whether to call or raise. There aren't a lot of hands that have him beat. Chow just calls. By just calling, Chow looks weak, and he might be able to get Barry to fire again on the river. A nine on the river, a terrible card for Greenstein. 
Barry's hand actually improves, which is horrible news for him and great news for Chow. Barry's gonna fire again. 42,000. No, I think I'm gonna quit this game. What is that? 42,000. Uh, uh, 42. Despite the fact that he's dead in the water, Barry's making an attempt at a value bet. Kiss money goodbye again, if I have it. <laughs> Kiss it hello, Chow, oh, you're a winner. 30. 30, 42. Don't fuck me in a set. Chow calls. I said, if your base is up, it's good. Yeah, set? No. Chow shows the goods. Mm. I said. Chow's been running so bad this session that he forgot to consider the fact that he could have maybe even raised there. All right, let's yeah. put something out there to give us a bit of hope. Okay? Dealer, I want a big card, a huge card. Hoyt's gonna need two huge cards.